what is up dragons this is Aragon here today with more portal 2 this will be episode 6 um, I've tried coming up with a temporary audio solution uh, so you should hear that uh, just tell me how it sounds in the comments because my videos always render differently than I set them to but so the lag is noticeable that's because I'm rendering episode 5 as I'm recording this. So, without further ado, let's ride a really slow elevator. Wow, this is actually a lot longer than it expects it to be. Uh, it's at 40 FPS, so it shouldn't look like that bad to you guys, but... Say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. An amateur, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. <laughs> and loading screen. something the lab boys call oh. repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Classic aperture. Very, very simple test to start. To start. I was very surprised when I first played this at how easy they were. me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I yep. pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Oh, okay. What am I looking for? I'm supposed to be going somewhere. Um, is there something I'm missing? Like that. Question is, where's the... Okay. I 
I seriously hope that I'm not going backwards. I think I just went backwards. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I cannot believe I just did that. Can I not go back through? Okay. This, I, I've never had this happen before. I really Stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave okay. me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Man, that's too bleak. Okay, it's this way. Not this way. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Probably up the stairs. For this next time. test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Wow, okay. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Oh, boy. Okay, so we have now learned that the stuff we are portaling with it does not like our skeleton. Yay. Sounds fun. Oh. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. <laughs> that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Where am I portaling? Probably right here. Okay, never mind. 
I see. Slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Wow, okay. Control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay. may involve trace amounts of time <laughs> travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. because I'm Science is about 
why? It's about why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science and love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Okay. Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Oh, okay. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, let's see how the next test goes. I don't remember what the next test is. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As Yay. founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> Gonna admit, kind of lost. Not quite sure where I'm supposed to be going. Nineteen seventy one. That's where I'm supposed to be going. Loading No.
Um, did not know that could happen. Why don't you just... Oh, hi. Oh, come on. You're good at murder. Okay, Thanks. I guess I'm gonna end off here. I will see you guys next time. doesn't know what he's doing